in the DevNet zone, especially at Cisco Live, but kind of in DevNet in general, one of our one of the things that we need to be able to do um, to help community members out here, and I know I've said this like a hundred videos so far, so I apologize everybody as you're watching these, but uh, we're in the media zone here at Cisco Live, uh, kind of right in the middle of the DevNet zone, so many zones, and I can see the community out here. You can't see them, but they're all right out here. And so I'm, when I'm pointing, that's who I'm. And what I, what I realize is that so much of what we do here and what we teach here to other people comes from what we learn from them. Like we're not our developer advocates, our UX team and design thinking team, us in the community side, we're not just making things up for funsies. Like we, yeah, we there's sessions that are happening in theaters and they're great, but the folks that are out there aren't doing it, aren't making this technical content just because they find it super interesting. Partly yes, but what's more important is we want to know from people, our community members, what they actually need to understand. What do they want to learn? Or do we have problems that we need to expose? So I thought it'd be kind of interesting to sit down with Casey, you and Alejandro to talk about how in these, some of these codified ways in DevNet, how we actually, how do we learn from people what they need, why they need it, if we have problems? Like, so could you maybe start off talking to us a bit about like how did we even get to a place of wanting to say, hi everyone, tell us what you want us to know. Sure, Jeff. Um, so what happened is that we have been having a lot of engagement, a lot of great cost, um, conversations with our customers, partners, and our very loyal DevNet community throughout the years. However, like sometimes a lot of information might got lost through just these conversations. So what is the most effective way to really capture it and making sure that we can bring it back to the team, post event, let's do something about it, right? Because ultimately we want this to turn into an action item. So then we can ultimately contribute back to the community to say that hey, maybe you're missing some of these features on your product, on your developer experience. Maybe this is a community aspect that you can improve upon. So how do we do it, right? Like the only way, not the only way, but the ways that we're trying to do it um, in Cisco Live here is to really have this booth um, experience for people to come in here to engage and run a lot set of um, interactive activities and very hands-on with our customer. So as you can see probably from some of the pictures that you have seen or some of the um, videos that we have a bunch of people like writing really on um, colorful post-its, right? Who and then a lot of these do <laughs> dots, exactly, right? So this is the way to open them up to let them know, hey, like this is the way for you to share your feedback yeah. with us. Yeah. And we call it share your experience, especially in this year in Cisco Live, you can see it in the DevNet zone. We have this big booth to show all these different activities and we're capturing feedback That's from cool. different users. Yeah, it's, it's it for everyone, watch, everyone watching, you can't see it, but if you see pictures, like you said, Casey, it's actually right across from where we're sitting right here. So we're, gonna, we're just staring right at it. Um, it is. It is and, and if I if I may add yeah, something please, real please. quick to that, like in a nutshell, it's like if you want to, like, it's hearing feedback from someone, like, by typing a message or on you know on any forum, is different than hearing it from them in person. That is very important. That's actually differentiator uh, in what we do a lot of the times is hearing from them. It's just a different kind of message that goes across. Actually, we'll talk about this later, but one of the things that we're tracking as well is the emotional uh, experience, right, of a lot of the, the issues that they have, which is not the same as, you know, sending out a survey or something, right, which is something that people sometimes think about. And uh, so it's a different way to capture information for us, and hopefully, you know, what we're trying to do is just relay that information to the actual initiatives that we have here. It's, so it is so true how you bring, how you describe that, you know, I. The bane of my personal existence is email. I hate, <laughs> I'm sorry everyone, I hate using email. I do use chat a lot because it's a little bit easier to, to convey your emotions. And I do mean that on a relative scale. It's a little bit easier, but it's, it's not the same as being here. But um, before we dive too far, too far into like what you're actually doing, can you maybe both of you talk a bit about like, how do we, why did we even start doing this? Because I mean, we clearly didn't just be like one day, you know what, let's build a whole share your experience thing. Like, it probably came from something, and you were mentioning, Casey, that like at some point, like we were all kind of realizing we're hearing these stories from people, but what's a good way for us to actually capture that outside of just submit a form, submit a feedback form? How did this kind of get started? Yeah, so great question. So this actually all started back in, I believe, 
2018 or even 2017, when we've been actively talking about design thinking. So back in DevNet, back then with the developer experience, we already provided a lot of great developer resources. However, we wanted to really talk to the customer, how can you effectively and efficiently leverage these resources? You don't just go into the documentation, deploy something, use an API, and turn out the solution doesn't right. really help solving the problem. So the core of design thinking is to really identify the right problem to solve such that you can have the um, efficient solution to target that. So that. back then, um, back in the days, we were already um, advocating design thinking and really uh, having some workshop experience to leverage that. And through that, um, we're also showing some of the interactive activities. For instance, we have, we leverage like an empathy map as what you mentioned about capturing people's feeling. We talk about like the stakeholders. We talk about all these like bullseye diagram to identify like um, importance of things. Mm -hmm. And through that, we already started capturing users' feedback. And now, because of the like the design thinking advocacy. I think our community also grew with us. They already adopted that mindset. What's next for us is that, okay, now we know that you guys could leverage this really well. Let us show you more about how we're doing it internally yeah. and also externally with you guys to let's brainstorm together. Mm -hmm. So that transformed into the share your experience nowadays. And in the past for Cisco Live, we have been driving this booth and been um, focusing on different topics, which aligns with the overall Cisco development strategy that we have over here in DevNet. So that has been really effective to capture all these feedback funneling back to the developer experience team. So nowadays, you see all these resources on DevNet, including like learning labs, documentation, sandboxes. A lot of the cool new things that you see is actually from the feedback that we capture from you all. So I think that's something that's really valuable for us. And seeing that transformation has been really powerful. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. And uh, just to add on to that, I think uh, Part of it to your question is how this really gets started. Uh, I think evolution is a key word here because uh, how it started and how it is now, it's actually a, a drastic change okay, too. Yeah. Uh, I, wanna, I say drastic, although it really keeps the same principles that we had at the beginning, mm -hmm. which is design thinking. Design thinking, as Casey said, is about solving problems, right? And so that's what we we're trying to do here, solve, solve problems while engaging the community in this process. Now, when I say evolution, I really mean, you know, our products evolve, right? We have different problems every time, you know, we have different initiatives every time, and at the same time, our processes and how we communicate with people and get this feedback evolves as well. And so it's actually, uh, I mean, just me personally, just going back every time, like a few years ago, it's like, wow, we were doing that, you know? And, uh, and to look at it now, it's like, wow, we're capturing even better information because we had that experience, like we had that feedback, and now it's like, okay, let's take it to the next level. So just been a great uh, evolution since then. Yeah, please, yeah. Yeah, if I may add a little bit. So I want to share a little bit about like some of the experience that we had this week in the DevNet Zone. Um, so a customer actually came to us and is like, yeah, I remember you guys. We've done this before. And we see all these like familiar faces. We shake hands, we give each other hugs. It's really the way to also build a community here mm -hmm. by you know letting them to know we're here for you, we're rooting for you, we're here to help you to go through this network automation journey. So it's been really powerful. Um, as you know, it's not just capturing feedback, but a way to build this relationship with our customer and our loyal community as well. Yeah, absolutely. I, the the idea of I mean, one of the core tenets of building and reinforcing community is creating, is it, uh, enabling a sense of belonging, or people to feel like they can have a sense of belonging with something. By and they do that. I mean, the definition of community, lowercase c community, is a group of people with a shared common, common experience, shared common interests. Uh, you know, capital C community is the tools, like shared experience and the DevNet zone. These are the tools that we use to create the lowercase c community. And what you were just describing, I think, is so critical because every little thing that we do here is designed, hopefully, and it, the outcome, hopefully, is for people, as they share their experience, they get to feel a part of something. They get to feel like, like you said, they come back year after year, they provide a little bit of input. We can do something with that. We can actually take it, give it to our, our product B partners, share it with our, our developer advocates or others who are creating the content they see at DevNet Zones, yeah. and it just feeds into idea generation that we can use internally, which is, yeah. which is really rad, it's nice to see. And to your point, Alejandro, it's going to be a constant evolution. We need to always change it because human beings are always changing. They're always needing something a little bit different. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, I, love, I love what you said because, uh, and I'm sure we can, oh, 
uh, I don't want to go too much in the, into the details because there's so much that we can share. Uh, but I think in general, like sometimes we get people, uh, as Casey mentioned, that come back and they're like, oh, you know, like a year later, they're like, oh, I remember I, you know, this was my feedback. And then they come back the next year and it's like that feedback that they gave, they understand that we received it, we relate it, and they're seeing the changes in real time. And as you're saying, it's like, yeah, they feel like part of, uh, they feel part of the solution yeah. to what they need. Which so really that's cool. like, that's you know, legitimately cool. That yeah. is the best feeling, for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Right on. Well, thank you so much, both of you. Really appreciate all yep. the work that you put in, all the team that supports you in doing this. And I know we've talked about it and we can watch it. And if you check our you know, YouTube channel, if you check out all the social media posts, you'll see a lot of imagery from the, the Share Your Experience area where people are very clearly excited and interested to be able to have this opportunity, not just to say, here's my feedback, but to do it in a very interactive and conversational way so it, it can come out in a way that's like, let me tell you my story, and that usually gets to, oh, I didn't think that the challenge I was having was X, Y, and Z. Now that I'm talking about it out loud, it comes out differently. So when it shows up on the board up here in a sticky note, it's not just, hey, there's this problem, which is, I think, really, really important about this process. So thank you both so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Yeah.